Last time on... Wait for it. Yu-Gi-Oh! X Crossover. The commander leaves the base in Hat Guy's care. Akagi sets fire to the base, injuring Fubuki in the process. Enraged by a Akagi's lack of empathy, Hat Guy falls into the darkness and duels Akagi. Akagi's resilience to continuing fighting causes Hat Guy to fall further into darkness. Now the perspective will change and follow a different path. And that's it. Yeah, sorry it's been taking so long for me to get to the Shadow Blue. Just, you know, I come down with the sickness and all that jazz. Yes, I got down with the sickness. <laughs> And I wanted to wait until I was feeling a little bit better because I want to do your show mostly justice. I mean, it's still me, some crappy guy doing some bad VA, but you know, I didn't want to do it with the voice where I was coughing every two seconds. Now I'm only coughing every three seconds. But yeah. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't yawn too much through this, too. I, late at night, and I, yeah. Probably could wait, but I, it's been a month. I don't want to wait any longer. I, Oh, I don't want to get to push them back in the box like freaking Millennium Paradox. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh boy, I'm going to do freaking hack guys over the edgy voice with my. Well, luckily I don't have a sore throat, so I guess that's not so bad. Just more congested than anything. That'd be fun. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think I ever got done by sitting around and doing nothing. Wait, that's only what that's what my channel is. <laughs> so let's see what's gonna happen with that guy. He lost his mind due to Fubuki being injured. And he just lost himself in the darkness, and now we're gonna have to deal with the consequences of that. So the perspective will change again. Uh, no, it won't, because uh, we're staying in this perspective. Unless Infinite comes back or something, which I doubt, but you never know. <clears throat> Synchro Summon, Awaken Now. Episode title. The Dark Miracle. Rave round two, you dog. He won't come back this time. Hat guy, what's happening to you? Your transformation doesn't scare me. I will definitely defeat you and get closer to my love. Vanish into darkness! I activate Upstart Goblin. I draw a card, but you gain a thousand life points. Next, I activate Pop Desires. I banish ten cards to draw two from my deck. You used those cards in the last duel. Is this going to be a repeat of the last one? <coughs> I summon Balancer Lord. Since there are no monsters in my extra monster zone, I can special summon Math Mech Sigma. Then I'll overlay Balancer Lord and Math Mech Sigma to XZ summon. With these two monsters, I build the overlay network. XZ summon. Rank four, Math Mech Prima Tech out. Alma for a uh, algebra. I don't freaking know how to pronounce a thing. I'll use algebra's effect. I attach two overlay units to add a math mech card from my deck to my hand. All that for an extra deck monster that won't help in the slightest. I lower my monster's attack and special summon math mech subtraction. Math mixes are quite dangerous. Be careful, though. 
Geo Math Mech Laser than a sneeze at. I increased my monster attack and special summon Math Mech Addition! I'll end my turn there. That's pretty normal. Finally, it's my turn! I draw! I activate my trap! Threatening roar! Now you can't attack this turn! God damn it, you dog! Just let me bury you already! Stop trying to prevent the inevitable! <coughs> <coughs> my hatred is greater than yours. You'll never reach me! <coughs> I activate the field spell, Layer of Darkness! It changes all monsters of the field to dark types. I act with Duke Shades effect, stripping a dark monster is supposed to summon this card. Your field doesn't have any dark type monsters. You can't summon that card. But that's what Layer of Darkness is for. It allows me to use your monsters as tributes. It allows you to use my monsters? <coughs> the tribute to Xyz. I set a card and in my turn. I'll let you off easy for now. At the end phase, if a monster is used for, for that, was tribute for that turn, Layer Darkness will spawn one token. To make up for not being able to attack, Heck I summon a defense monster instead. Interesting strategy. <laughs> it's my turn. I summon Math Mech Nabala. Or Nabla. Next activate Sigma's effect from the graveyard. The special summon it. Next I'll tune Math Mech Sigma, addition and subtraction. Look out! Danger approaches! Great Crimson Knight! Arise from the flames and cut down my enemies with the Blade of Love! Synchro Summon! Come forth! Level 12! Geomath Mech! Final Sigma! <coughs> <coughs> A level 12? Synchro Monster? I increased my monster attack and specials with Math Mech Addition. Next activate Nava's effect. I treat a Math Mech to special summon a Math Mech from the deck. Sort of addition. Uh oh. Next I use Multiplication effect and double the level of a Math Mech on the field. So Multiplication. Akagi now has enough material to sink or summon again. I tuned my level 4 Math Mech Nabala with level 8 multiplication. Synchro summon! Come for a second level 12 Geo Math Mech Final Sigma! Two level 12 synchro monsters won't help you. You're still losing all the same. <coughs> when multiplication goes to the graveyard, I can target a monster in the extra monster zone and double its attack. 6,000 attack points. When Nabala goes to the graveyard, my monster in the extra monster zone gains the ability to attack twice. <coughs> That's enough. None of that will happen. Act with super polymerization and use both your sigmas as exceed material as materials to fusion summon. I'm sorry, boy, but that's not possible. When fast sigmas ex exist in the extra monster zone, it can't be used. As it can't be targeted. Impossible. That means hack. I won't be able to remove final sigma from the field. Sorry, it wasn't both. It was only one of the extra monster zone. I misread. What will you do now, boy? Your strategy to get rid of final sigma failed. I, I've used with your other Final Sigma to fuse and Dark Shade and the Layer Token. Three forces now combine into a new evil. 
Fusion Summon! <coughs> Up here, Brother Planet, try for the, try the three headed one! I can't pronounce some of these cards. I'm a Yu Gi Oh player. It's time to end this! I'm sorry. It's time to end this! Let's battle! Final Sigma, attack! And when Final Sigma deals damage, battle damage is doubled! Doubled? Ah! Ah! That guy lost? Shit. Well, this isn't fucking good at all. I mean, it's good that the darkness was stopped, but also, it's bad that Hack Guy lost. I knew it. The transformation is nothing but a scare tactic. Now my love will come to me. Ah, what's happening to me? My body feels like it's splitting in two. Ah. <coughs> Your dark mist. The defused. I am finally free. Now I can finally take my revenge on Astral. What? What is that? All right, you peon. Tell me where my commander is, or else. Why would I tell you? My breath would be wasted on a dog like you. You serve no purpose, then. For that, you will die. Stop! You're fighting me now! Step aside, Nuisance. If you stand in my way, I'll destroy you, too! <clears throat> I won't let you get near Hat Guy! Ayaname! What's the point of this fight? This doesn't matter to me at all. Wait, Darkness, how were you able to survive? Human and Astro defeated you! True, but they defeated me during our final battle. But I wasn't truly defeated. What are you talking about? Explain yourself! During my last battle with Astro, I intended to use you as a human shield so that we wouldn't be able to be fused, I guess I mean. The power of Zexo wasn't something I was able to be to contend with. In my last ditch effort to get rid of Astro and Sprawl, I left a piece of myself in your body, so if I failed, I would be returned to you. How are you able to return if you were in my body? I was getting to that, you foolish human. <clears throat> Now, do you remember all the times you become angry? All the times you succumb to your hatred? Not all of them. Why are you asking such strange questions? <laughs> While I was inside your body, I cited your negative emotions for my revival. I could control you during those brief moments, but only act in those in your desires at the time. The gas, the gas in my memory, they were caused by you? Of course, as you came to revive in the memories, you retained your consciousness during my control. <laughs> your duel today has given me much regret for the negative emotions. So grateful for that. I have you to thank for all of this. <clears throat> I caused this? That's right. With all the power you've been giving me, I can bring the entire world, no, the entire universe, to ruin. No, you will be the one that will be brought to ruin. What are you saying? I have the power to destroy the universe! How do you expect to take revenge on human astro if you no longer have the number cards? 
even if I have, you know, even if I no longer have the number cards, I'll just wipe out the earth. Oh, just that easy like that, eh? You would, but you won't get the chances, because you won't get the satisfaction of being astral. Admit it! Just like I thought. Give up on your revenge like Astro and don't walk into your own demise. Right now you have a second chance at life. Don't waste it. <clears throat> Get out of my way! Ah! Ayaname! I'm sorry, hat guy. She's just too strong. Don't talk, Ayanami. Save your strength. You're the only thing left standing between me and my love. Darkness. I'm going to need your help. Why should I help you? There's no benefit for me. If you help me, I'll give you the chance to fight with Astro again. A perfect proposition. <laughs> Akagi's a powerful opponent. I'll need every bit of help I can. So you're letting me take the wheel. You must truly be desperate. You're mistaken. We'll be combining our powers in another way. What are you... No. You can't mean. That's right. We're going to use the very power that defeated you in the past. We will use the power of Zexo! You fool! There's no way that we're compatible for Zexo. You said that you used my negative emotions for more power. So let's flip that around and share the power together! Fine then, but don't expect me to like it. <clears throat> Have you said your prayers? It's time we finish this. The only, one that can, the only one that's finished is you. Are you ready, Dark Mist? I'm ready. With me? And myself. We overlay! When two souls become one, a miraculous power is revealed. Oh, that's cool. Xyz change! Zell! <coughs> what, what is this form? This is the power of Zell. A miraculous power that has changed to become one. Now we're going to use all of our power to stop you out once and for all. I might just give that Dark Zexel its own voice, because I cannot combine those two voices at once. <laughs> Akagi is a very powerful thing in the canon timeline. I, I know its own timeline, she used DDDs, but that's its own timeline. So it doesn't matter that she changed her decks. Ugh. Apparently, I guess you took out a Yanami off screen while Dark Mist and Hakai were talking, which makes sense, I guess. Uh, jeez. I didn't expect Hakai to lose, especially with how crazy he was, but I guess he was just so damn crazy, there was nothing he could do. It were rather. Rather, just more like he's so damn crazy that. And the Yanami was so damn strong with two final Sigmas that not much you really can do against that. I hit by two final Sigmas. Although, we really should not have some of that Predator play in attack mode. That's a major misplay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 
it was interesting to bit know, but di yeah, it was interesting to know more about Dark Mist's past, though, and like how he came back. So a fragment of him was left behind from his defeat and placed into Hat Guy. Sort of, I guess, like a before in case he lost to like the pizza of the Pharaohs with any puzzle in a sense. Yeah. Next time on. Yu Gi Oh! X Crossover! The final battle between Hakai and Akagi reaches its climax. Will the power of, will the power of Zexo be enough to defeat Akagi once and for all? Or will Akagi's evil plan to take the commander come to fruition? Out next time on part three of the season finale of UBS Crossover, the power that leads back to I misread it again. <laughs> and in this one location and all that stuff. <coughs> yeah, we're only reaching the season finale the season finale of UBS Crossover. Not the series, season. It's made to me that could only lasted like three episodes and then it was finished and then the crap. And the next crossover was like, no, 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 I still got plenty more story, don't you worry. Concoli really was a test pilot for this stuff, and then crossover was like, we're gonna go all in, don't worry. I do like the look of the fusion, even though it is a little janky look. Uh, sorry, not the fusion, the Zexo form. It is a little janky, but I'm a, I'm a sucker for the body armor and stuff like that. Looks on hat guy. Plus the little specs things and look too terrible. <laughs> it's mostly the hair on top of the hat where it looks a little weird. Maybe if that part was removed, it would be better, but I don't know. But you got that's the Kajiko to music is excellent. Plus, it's like there was a base model for it. It's not a terrible looking Zexo though for a fan made one, especially. And again, I'm mostly just a second for the um, the armor, although it was like definitely original Zexo too. Uh, yeah. But I was interested to know a bit more about uh, Dark Mist. Like he wants to destroy the world and commit his evil plan. But now that, he, but now with the world being saved by Astral Numa, it's like there's nothing else really to live for besides revenge on Astral, which he can't get without Hat Guy's help. So Hat Guy promises him to, to help him get back together so they can um, defeat Akagi right here, right now. And they're gonna need that power too. I guess that what was happening before was more of a fusion, a, a corrupted fusion, like Dark Sexo was in the original anime. Whereas that, uh, they actually perfected it. So yeah, they fixed they fixed that little bug in the Matrix. Ugh. And Akagi is really more interested with the Bath Mechs. Bath Mechs are nothing to sneeze at, even before Geophyto and Cir Circular. Well, especially, well, though, especially with them, of course. <laughs> they're not going to be like, well, they're. I mean, bath mechs are good enough on their own. Like, I played them with two links and like that, where it's just where they have like four bath mech cars, maybe five. It's addiction, subtraction, the freaking the tuner synchro, and um, their their spells and a trap. Yeah, they could spell the freaking revival with the monster reborn with a thousand extra attack points and the trap. So six cards, really. <clears throat> Even then, they were still pretty good. So I don't think they're. Mad Max are nothing to sneeze at, and uh, they look out because they will, can, and will OTK you faster than you can blink. Especially his final Sigma. <laughs> if she gets two more of those out again, it's history. Ugh. That's what. And it was not expecting Hack to lose of all things. Just, but again, there's nothing he could really do. He put Barry down two final Sigmas. We can forgive the guy for losing. The only misplay he made really was summoning the proto plan in attack mode. But I guess the, he was just focused on, you know, like pure raw power and just, you know, strength as attack mode, so he summoned in attack mode. Or he misclucked. I don't know. Or he wasn't thinking and forgot about the double attack. <sighs> or you know what the double damage. There's a lot of factors you could put onto it, but yeah. either way he was screwed though. So now he used all three of his monsters just let them both die. And then taking the damage. <coughs> this place were hat guy, but yeah. I it was interesting to know a bit more. I, I'm repeating myself of course, but I was interested in this episode. It was cut it was interesting to know more about this stuff, so 
You do a great job, Sarah Blue, and look patiently and wait patiently for the finale for the season. I know you make it worth the wait. So yeah. And the Zexo form thing was pretty cool. Like it was low budget, but hey, you know what? So was the original freaking turning into Dark Zexo thing. You're got you got Windows movie maker, you're poor, it's fine. I'm not losing sleep because this is kinda of, you know, meh. You don't if you had your own animation studio or something like that or something like that, like I know you would go above and beyond. But what do you got? You did a pretty good job, so good job on you. Don't be too hard on yourself. Even if it does look a little funky, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, good work, and I look forward to the next one. I guess that's all I really have to say before I start repeating myself even more. So yeah, until next time.